you owe me, Phillips. I'm three grand down and I'm not prepared to take an IOU, so you better find the money and fast. No, I don't do that anymore, I can't. With my son and I... Cry me a river, Gussie. Then I'm not waiting anymore. I had to do a job tonight and it went wrong. Set an alarm off. I think I got out of there without anyone seeing me. What the hell are you doing to me? So, look, I had no choice, OK? I sit in the right... Hey, where are you going? I can't go back to prison. I'll be a dead man. You can't go anywhere. I'm sorry. Stay in us. I don't want the bag. No. Sir, are you aware that you are speeding? Kane Phillips. He's got a firearm. I'm well, I can explain that. Ah, the office robbery. Kane Phillips, I'm arresting you on yeah, suspicion of armed robbery. You do not have to say anything, but if you do, it will be taken down and may be used in evidence. going on? How long do I have to sit here for? All right, just calm down, Mr. Oh, Phillips. while you're standing there, you could be out there looking for him. Right, I mean, he's probably Phillips. getting... Look, I didn't do this. Right, I don't see... Need to calm down. Get your hands off me, finally. Mate. Someone who's going to listen to me. Look, my dad ran off. I don't, don't know just... where... No, look, if you get some guys out there looking for him... Look, I need to... Just... just take a breath and calm down, right? Now, I want you to tell me what happened. Kane, just answer the question. No. I'm not saying anything without my solicitor. Jump on the bus. Take oh, good day, darling. Welcome back here. Let me help you. Oh, oh. God save Island. What have you got in here? Oh, it's just a couple of months' worth of paperwork, amongst other things. The joys of having offices 200 kilometres apart. <laughs> I thought that was your car I had. How was your drive? Oh, long and tedious, just like my day. I was dealing with a client from hell. The only thing that kept me going was the thought of a long, hot bath in which I will soak for the next two hours. Truth as bad as that, was it? Let's just say I'm glad it is over. Oh, God. Leave me alone. <sighs> More Egg Bellingham. No, look, look, slow down. I can't... Uh... Kane, just quietly tell me everything that has happened. Ken, what the hell is going on? If you're just calm I down. don't believe I will want to calm down. Where well, is Kane? Down. It's this all right, help. senior constable. Peter, thank God. What is going on? Look, you know damn well that Kane wouldn't have broken into an office, let alone stole stuff from it. Look, we're, we're looking at all the possibilities, trying to piece together what happened. Detective, could I see my client now, please? Senior Constable, can you... Sure. Mrs. Bellingham? Well, I want some answers, please. Thank you. Hi. Um, you can leave us alone now. Thank you. Look up. Sorry to get you down here, but I didn't know who else to call. Yeah, well, let's save the pleasantries till later, shall we? Kane, I'm not going to waste my time, and I can't help you unless you are perfectly honest with me. So you tell me right now. Did you rob that office? No, I didn't. I swear to you. Fine. Then I will do everything I can to help you. Great. Thanks. Thanks. It really means a lot. So, why don't you just start at the beginning, huh? I don't care about any of that. This is nonsense, Please, Ian. just calm down. Kane right? did not do this, Peter. Can't you sort it out? Irene, I need you to settle down. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You what? Irene! Look, I haven't even interviewed Kane yet, right? And I'm not trying to railroad anyone, but I've got a job to do, and this needs to be handled like any other case. Now, you are welcome to take a seat and wait, but you'll have to be calm and quiet, OK? You all right to go? And that, that's it? That's the last thing you see? Fine. Um, could we possibly put an end to this quickly, please? 
I mean, from what my client has told me, the link between the robbery and he is um, tentative at best. He was found with the stolen cash, the weapon... Yeah, I already told you Kane, I was... No, I was... no. You know me. Why the hell don't you believe me? Let's just get this started. Interview commencing 10.33 p.m. Present are Detective Baker, Senior Constable Harper, Morag Bellingham, Counsel for the Accused and Kane Phillips. I should give Kirsty a ring in the city, let her know what's going on. What good's that gonna do? Alf, she should know. Know what? You've got nothing to tell her. What's the point of upsetting her in the middle of the night before you know what's going on? Yeah, you're right. Anyway, the cops will come to their senses soon. I just can't believe Pete hasn't put an end to it already. He's just doing his job, like he said. And with Kane's record. Don't tell me you actually believe it. Of course I don't. What the hell is the matter with oh, you? Oh, crying out loud, woman, of course I don't believe he did it. All I'm saying is I... I can understand how the cops might think that he did. You've got to admit, it doesn't look too good. And what time was that? Uh, 7.30 this morning. I dropped him off to the bus stop, he got on, I took off, and then I didn't know anything was up until tonight. And you got the call at home? Yeah, I was at home, yeah, but he called my mobile. What time was this? Uh, eight, maybe a bit after that. Was there anyone else at home with you at the time? What to back my story up, man. Please just answer the question. Yeah, yeah, I was by myself. <laughs> what happened then? Um, well, he sounded really worked up, but he wouldn't say why, just that he needed me to come and get him. So I did, and he was waiting by the side of the road where he said he'd be. He got in the car and said that I had to get out of there real fast or we'd both be dropped right in it. Dropped in what? Oh, he didn't say it first. So, so you just did what your dad was asking you to do? Yeah, I took off, yeah. I mean, he was pretty frantic. I didn't have much choice. But I told him I wanted to know what was going on. He wouldn't tell me at first, so I threatened to pull over to the side of the road and that's when he came clean. Well, what did he say? He said him and this other guy had done a job together. The one that Dad went inside for. But this other guy got away, but he didn't get his share of the cash. So <laughs> when Dad got out, this other guy came looking for his money. But your dad didn't have it? No, no. So this guy told him that he better get the money fast or he was going to cop it then. So it was